Therefore, we are building up our country. And as you may all know, whenever there is an earthquake, after the earthquake there would be uh, certain damages, wounds, you name it. And we have to uh, consider all that. But to answer your question, um, the resolution 207 of 2012, issued by the Ministry of Economy, uh, it gave a quite a good opportunity to foreign investors to come to Libya and invest, and also to open, uh, to set up uh, branches of foreign companies. Uh, the requirements are quite normal. Uh, there are some changes in the percentage of the shareholders, uh, 49 instead of 65, 49% uh, to the foreign partners in the JV, and 51 for Libyans. And there are certain fields that, that, that are restricted only for Libyans, which I will elaborate later on in my uh, presentation today. So I, I would say that uh, Resolution 207, it's not very well balanced, it has pro and cons. I will explain them uh, later on. But I would say that uh, the uh, doors are open for foreigners to do business in Libya, either uh, under law number 9 uh, regarding the foreign investment, or uh, under the uh, branch office, or under a RIP office, or a joint stock uh, company jointly owned between the foreign partner and the Libyan partner. Well, that's a, that's a start. Um, could you could you explain to us what well, uh, because as you say you know, everything's so new in Libya, uh, everything's changing and, and fast. Could you explain to, to our audience here what are the conditions for exporters? We have companies here that export to Libya. They have had problems during the revolution. And now everything is starting fresh again. And again, even there, in terms of uh, imports, I believe Libya, the Libya government has made some changes. Could you explain to us, people, I don't know what people want, people who are up here, what they want is, is, uh, is peace of mind, that they can deal with Libya, that they can do business with Libya, and that they can, they can be paid back for what they sell, or, or that they can have uh, a good relationship with, with the people. So could you explain, for, for, for the benefit of all these exporters, what, what the new situation is? So Actually, there is not, uh, it's not uh, something new. The only governing law in this particular issue is the distribution and agency law. Uh, every exporter who would like to export materials or goods to Libya must have an agent or a distributor, a Libyan agent or a distributor. Uh, some of the commodities um, are not uh, required to have a distributor or an agent. But for uh, certain commodities and goods, there must be an agent, a Libyan agent and distributor and after sales services. For example, when it comes to the automotive business, there must be an agent and there are a distributor and also after sales services. Uh, reconditioning, for example, and some. But for other certain commodities, I don't have the schedule, but some uh, specific commodities, you don't have to have an agent. You can uh, send the goods to Libya against LC and you get paid. The payment conditions are much, much better nowadays than it used to be. Uh, the banking system is quite efficient now. The, so many restrictions on money transfer has been lifted in the benefit of both sides, I mean, the Libyan businessmen and the foreigners. 